Hello students and friends of the HorrorTube BookTube and AuthorTube community. It is I, Coach Stroud, and I'm here for another wonderful episode of Coach Stroud's What to Read While Quarantined. <sighs> In this episode, I went book shopping. I love going and going thrifting for books. Um, this past time I went to Goodwill, I went to the Salvation Army, I went to a couple of small thrift stores, and I came away with 30 new used books. And I'm really super excited to show them to you today. Um, so let's just get started. Let's jump into it. First, we've got uh, John Hart's The Last Child. Should be good. I read the back of this at, the, at, at Goodwill, and I was like, dude, that sounds really cool. Uh, it's about a kid that's trying to solve a murder and, uh, you know, doing it on his own. It's kind of neat. Uh, Brett Easton Ellis is The Rules of Attraction. Now, for those of you who don't know, Brett Easton Ellis is the author of American Psycho, which is a, an amazing, absolutely amazing um, serial killer book and great movie, too. So this is another one of his books, Rules of Attraction. Um, being a former English teacher, I love these No Fear books. And this one is No Fear Shakespeare and Hamlet. Uh, which reminds me of one of those dad jokes uh, about what is a pig's favorite play to go see. Hamlet. <laughs> uh, my students think I'm crazy. Uh, Mark Twain's The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. It's classic. I love this cover version of the uh, the, the the boat there. It's just beautiful. Um, I like uh, I like different versions of this, mostly because of the print on the inside. Um it's just beautiful. It's a good story. Great different covers. It's, uh, yeah, tons of different versions out there. One of my favorite plays of all time, um, and a, a book that, or play that I've taught in class numerous times is Arthur Miller's The Crucible. Um, I mentioned before in another video that when I come across certain books, I buy them even though I might not need them. And, um, this is definitely one of them. Anytime I ever come across The Crucible, I'm always picking it up. Uh, mostly, I, I don't know, it's a weird tick of mine, I guess. I've got so many different versions and variations of The Crucible, uh, and I love them all. So, uh, last week I, I showed you uh, Thomas Harris's uh, Red Dragon, This is the, and that was the movie tie-in. This is Hannibal, the movie tie-in. Uh, we got Faye Kellerman and Stalker. Ooh, look at the cover on that one. It's pretty sweet. This is uh, reminiscent to me of those old 80s, 80s book jacket covers uh, for the paperbacks and how they would have those cool, sometimes, you you know, the cover's one thing, you open it up, you got a neat little picture on the inside. Um, one of my guilty pleasures, it's not really a guilty pleasure, actually, because, you know, he's world famous and a lot of people read him, but I love John Grisham books. I, I really do. Um, he's an easy go-to for when I want to have something to read or listen to that's, you know, a little, not as rough or, or not as difficult to understand. I love John Grisham books. He's got Camino Island, um, which is a great story and is not like most of his thrillers, uh, or most of his legal thrillers. Camino Island is very different and it's actually about a bookseller, and the underground black market book trade, which is really cool. So to all my book people out there, Camino Island's a good one. Uh, still speaking on John Grisham, Playing for Pizza is one of his sports titles. It's about a guy, an American, who goes over to Italy to play professional football. And I love, I love this book. I've listened to it multiple times. I've read it a few times. It's just a fun book. I mean, it's it's a it's a good, good heart feeling book. So Check that one out. This one I had to pick up. This is absolutely beautiful. It is the unabridged Mark Twain. It just, first off, look how thick this baby is. But look at that cover. That cover is awesome. It is just so cool. Um, I just, I love it. The art style is just beautiful. It's got a, uh, it's got an opening remarks by Kurt Vonnegut. So that should be pretty neat. Uh, let's see, move on here. We have, let's see, let me make sure I don't mess up her name, but Raina Telgemeier, Telgemeier, I guess, and this is drama. This is, uh, Raina does these graphic novels. She's done Babysitter's Club. She's done Smile. Um, I think there's one called Ghost. Uh, beautiful artwork on the inside. She She's very talented. Um, these are actually really fun to read, you know, even adults. Like my wife's read them. My kids have all read them. It's just good stuff. 
Um, next we have Dennis Lehane, A Drink Before the War. Nice. That should be a good little thriller. A uh, couple of uh, hardbacks here. We got John Grisham's The Racketeer. Now, this is this is a good novel. It, it really is. I enjoyed it. I've read it, and I've listened to it, and it's both really, really cool. Uh, nice novel about a guy breaking out of prison. Um, this one from John Grisham is called The Reckoning. And this one is just really, really super intense. Um, it it kind of goes back and forth a little bit uh, with talking about a legal thriller. And then also this guy's time back in Vietnam and what he had to do to survive. And being a war veteran myself, um, I... I understand some of his thought process there and it's just, it was really intense. Um, yeah, it's a good book. I would recommend it to anybody out there. Tony Dungy's uncommon. I love Tony Dungy, uh, quiet strength. His first book was incredible and I'm really excited to, to look into uncommon here. Uh, I got to see him speak, uh, about two, two years ago, I think, up uh, here in Atlanta. And it was, it was amazing. He's such a great speaker. And this one's really interesting. This is Roger Stern's The Death and Life of Superman. Now, <laughs> coming across this, I was like, what? They made a book? I'm like, this is awesome. I think this thing was published back in like 94. So where has it been all my life? Um, I don't know. It's really cool. I'm really excited for this one. And then for me, whenever I come across as a, as a teacher, uh, anytime I could come across teaching uh, tools and books and stuff, teacher's editions, I love them. Uh, this is the Georgia Teacher's Edition of the Prentice Hall uh, Literature. It is the British Tradition, Volume 2. Now, what I love about this is I, I still love textbooks. I love literature textbooks. Again, being a former English teacher, um, I love looking through these because it, it gives a lot of notes and pointers and insights and stuff onto the text uh, that you are looking at and reading, and they're just a lot of fun. Getting Coming across teacher's editions of these is kind of rare, so when I find them, I always pick them up. Now, my favorite part of this, 13 books by Stephen King. I totally, totally lucked out and just got so many awesome books uh, by Stephen King. So first we got Pet Cemetery, beautiful copy of it actually, and I think I paid a dollar for it, so I can't complain because, you know, online right now this is like um i think off of amazon they're like 14 15 bucks so it's pretty sweet i'm excited about that really nice old copy of the dark tower the gunslinger so that's i believe the first dark tower book i believe so awesome uh, i believe 80s version of the paperback stephen king's dream catcher the movie tie-in cover uh let's see Wizard and Glass, The Dark Tower 4. Nice. This one was kind of cool. I've been looking at this one online for a little bit, so I'm really excited that I came across it. Stephen King's The Green Mile. For those of you who don't know, this was a serial novel, novel that was released in small, small portions. So to, you know, and also it's a great movie. If you've never seen it, go see it. It's amazing. Um, but... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm I'm excited that I have it all in one book, and I honestly have never seen this version before. I've seen different versions, but not that one. Um, the awesome and amazing Stephen King's on writing, love this one. Um, I actually already own this book in two different forms, so I'll probably be using this one to give away to somebody who you know enjoys writing or wants to learn more about Stephen King's life. It's like half half biography, half uh, his teaching and tools for the trade. So it's really, really neat. Um, let's see. Richard Bachman's The Regulators. And to those of you know, out there who know that Richard Bachman is actually Stephen King, and it's one of his pseudonyms. Uh, Stephen King's From a Buick 8. And I've never read this one. I've heard mixed reviews about it, so I'm kind of interested in you know, seeing how it goes. Uh, we'll see. A copy of Everything's Eventual by Stephen King, short stories, you know, 14 dark tales. Uh, let's see. Four Past Midnight in hardback. Uh, unfortunately, I could not get this sticker off. I'm very, very sad about that. But yes, beautiful, beautiful Stephen King's The Tommy Knockers. That one sounds really cool. Um, yeah, 
I'm excited for this one as well. Stephen King's Full Dark No Stars in hardback as well. Should be awesome. And last but not least, I'm very excited. This To me, this was my, uh, my favorite find of the whole weekend. I'm super excited about Stephen King's Night Shift. The 1979 copy, which just has a really creepy, really messed up cover. Um, I love it. I love it. There's some amazing stories in this, in this book. It's, it's honestly, in my opinion, it's his best short story collection. Um, let me see. Uh, it's got the original Jerusalem's lot in it, which led to Salem's lot. Um, it's, it has the Mangler, Gray Matter, uh, sometimes they come back, which is probably, oh, I love that story. It's a good movie too. I enjoyed the first movie. Uh, the lawnmower man, which has nothing to do with the movie of the lawnmower man, even though it's you know, made by Stephen King. Um, and children of the corn, which is an awesome movie. Uh, cool story. Really, really interesting concept about this town where the kids basically kill off all the older people and their parents and their, their kids. Uh, so yeah, that's my book haul for this weekend. 30 books. I'm super excited. I need to organize and, and get things together here. Uh, my bookshelves are overflowing like crazy, but, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Tell me which one you think I should read first. And if you wouldn't mind, please like, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. I always feel weird asking about that, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I'd like to see how big I could get this thing going. I also promised my students at school that if I hit a hundred subscribers, I'll give them a tour or I'll do a video tour of the classroom. And that, for me, I'm like, yeah, that's cool. And they're, they're like super excited for it for some reason. Some of them are. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's my book haul for this weekend. What'd you get? Tell me below. All right, guys. Until next time. Deuces. We're out.